So Nicholas, uh, Terence and Mark, good morning. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, very good morning. I'm Kenneth Lim from the Marine Time and Port Authority of Singapore, and I'm delighted to attend this morning's Capital Link Forum. On behalf of my colleagues at the Marine Time and Port Authority of Singapore and the community of Marine Time Singapore, I'd like to extend a warm welcome to all our overseas guests and our gratitude to our local leaders as well for their strong support. This will be the very first event of the week ahead of a very busy and exciting Singapore Marine Time Week. I have a confession to make though. Uh, on the script that I have prepared, well, you know, it's not chat GPT, okay? <laughs> but I have taken reference uh, from our Prime Minister Lee's uh, uh, speech at his uh, parliament last week because I thought there is many very salient points which he has made in the parliament that I should bring to the leaders in this morning. First, he quoted the Economist Intelligence Unit, the EIU, that recently ranked the business environment of the countries for the next five years. Singapore came in top among 82 countries that EIU look at from across the world. Singapore has ranked top for the last 15 years. And Maritime Singapore has also been ranked top in the Baltic Xinhua Exchange and of course the DMV Mandarin Reports for many years. In addition to many accolades and encouragement received for our transshipment hub status, our International Maritime Centre, the top bunkering hub, the maritime technology, the ship registry and more. As noted by our Prime Minister Lee, businesses, investors and talented individuals in the region and beyond show great interest in Singapore. They want to come here to bring in their talent, they bring in their capital and investment to Singapore. And we do not take this for granted. It is the work of our pioneers who have worked very hard with a mindset of resilience and a self-reliance. Many of our local leaders here today have built this strong foundation for Maritime Singapore. And many of our overseas partners and leaders have given us very valuable guidance. My gratitude to all the pioneers in MPA, in the maritime industries, and both globally and locally. In fact, I'm heartened to learn that Aspen will be awarded today the 2023 Capital Link Shipping Leadership Award. And there's a good reflection of this. Congratulations, Aspen. Now, Esben has served as uh, President of the Singapore Shipping Association, as Chairman of the International Chamber of Shipping, and today he sits on the board of MPA among his many other outstanding contributions to the global shipping and maritime industry. Esben, your leadership and, uh, has inspired many, and I would trust the industry leaders here will continue to inspire future generation of shipping leaders to achieve greater heights. We will continue to uphold the Singapore DNA. Using the Prime Minister Lee's words, he said, quote, we too must embrace their can-do spirit and outsize ambition to be an extraordinary country an exceptional place in the world. Maintain our international reputation and build on our trusted Singapore brand of quality, reliability and efficiency. Make full use of our strength and turn opportunities into successes. Stand up for what we believe in and uphold consistent principle 
to advance Singapore's long-term interests. This is the way for Singapore to be taken seriously and to count for more than our size. We may be a small island state, but we are not a small people, and neither are our hearts nor our aspirations." End quote. The agenda for today's Capital Link Forum aptly highlights the industry's key ambitions for the future. The global maritime industry is actively transforming through innovation and collaboration, driven by the global industry leaders we have here today. Singapore will continue to be, want to be relevant to the global maritime industry. And these are also our key priorities for MPA. Against the geopolitical uncertainties, threats to international trading, we will press on to build up our supply chain resiliency, to innovate and decarbonize, and build our manpower core. Importantly, to achieve this, MPA will recognize the importance of capital and we also recognize the access to ship financing and will help grow ship owning and operating activities in Singapore and drive the demand and other services in this area. Coupled with green financing gaining momentum, MPA sees ourselves playing a more active role in enhancing our ship finance landscape in Singapore, particularly in the green ship finance. And that is why we have ambitions to develop Singapore as a green finance hub. And in pursuit of this ambition, MPA will continue to push for the availability of green financing tools to shipping sector, including working with MAS on the green finance sector to outreach, align, and co-develop a taxonomy of green shipping and inviting new financiers and intermediaries to be here, thereby increasing the financial flows to our ecosystem of companies in Singapore. On that note, I would like to wish everyone an exciting session this morning and an awesome Singapore Maritime Week ahead. Thank you.